Tara, kwentuhan tayo. The king who said no. Moses lived in a king's place, but he did not belong there. He was one of the people of Israel. The king of Egypt made the people of Israel his slaves. Men with cruel whips made them work harder and harder. Moses tried to help, but that only made the king angry. So Moses ran away, far away to another land, where he worked as a shepherd. One day, when he was minding the sheep, he saw something so very strange. In the middle of a bush, fire burned. He could see the flame, but the bush was not burned up. Moses went closer. Then he heard a voice calling his name, Moses. Moses. God was speaking to him. I have a special job for you, God said. I know all about the cruel king of Egypt and the horrible things he does. The people of Israel are my people. Go and tell the king he must let my people go. But Moses did not want to. I can't do that, he said. The king of Egypt is very angry with me. You can do it if I help you, God said. Tell my people what I have said. Tell them it's time they had a land of their own. If you are afraid, take Aaron with you. Moses and Aaron went to see the king. God says, let my people go. God, who is God? I don't know your God, said the king. And he made the Israelites work harder than ever. So God sent Moses to warn the king. Let my people go or I will send a terrible disaster. You will have no clean water to drink. The king said no. And there was no clean water to drink. Just as God said. Disaster number one. Again, God sent Moses to warn the king. Let my people go or I will send a terrible disaster. There will be frogs everywhere. Frogs in the soup. Frogs in bed with you. The king said no. And there were frogs everywhere, hopping and jumping. Frogs in the soup and frogs in the people's bed. Just as God said. Disaster number two. Please get rid of these frogs, begged the king. The king asked Moses and Moses asked God and God got rid of the frogs. But the king did not let God's people go. Again, God sent Moses to warn the king, Let my people go or there will be gnats all over the place. Nasty little biting gnats. The king said no. And there were gnats all over the place. Nasty little biting gnats. Just as God said. Disaster number three. No, 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 shrieked the king, stomping his foot. I still say no. Then the disaster came thick and fast. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, 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 groaned the king at last. Tell God I will let his people go and good riddance. If only he had said yes before. The people of Israel got ready to go. They were leaving Egypt forever. They would never be slaves again. They were going to a land of their own. God had set them free. <laughs>